the riskiness of the Alzheimer's, at least from a genetic standpoint, is happening in the cells that are the microglia, not, not on the neurons, neurons. right? right. Okay. Not on the computation, but on these housekeeping cells yeah, okay. yeah, that might yeah. be acting up. Yep, yep, yep. It's an evolving landscape. Alwa Alzheimer's, 1906, described these senile plaques and neurofibrillary tangles. And the field of neurodegradation has been intellectually sort of focused on these plaques. You can see the really dark plaque in the middle of brain tissue. That's going to just get in the way of stuff, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. um, then we started targeting immunotherapies that, would, um, are, that were capable of stripping the brain of these amyloid plaques, right? And those had only modest effects on cognitive decline. And that suggests that these plaques are like kind of a match that starts a much larger fire, mm, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. There's something else downstream of the plaques mm -hmm. that's really the cause. There's something more fundamental. Yes, exactly. And that thing that is more fundamental, people thought, could be neuroinflammation, which okay. is the inflammation of the brain because of stress, because of an immune response. Effectively, it's kind of like an autoimmune response, but local to our brain. Okay. Okay. There's the, the, the immune system itself that's supposed to be cleaning everything is now in a stage where it's just attacking all the time, okay? So there's some genetic evidence for this because the vast majority of the late onset Alzheimer's genetic risk, like we can, we, can, we can tell because some people have Alzheimer's and others don't, we can look at what the genetic mutations are. All of those are targeted on these things called microglia, not neurons. Okay. okay. Those genetic loci are activated in microglia mm -hmm. and not in neurons. Mm -hmm. So that's telling us 